Hey guys, it's Ollie from the Java Hub, and this is your 15th beginner's Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to um, read data from a file, and then we can do stuff with that, and we're just going to be printing it to the screen. But I guess you could do a lot more creative things than that. But to start out, I just have a Java class called Files, and I've imported java.io.file and java.util.scanner and you'll see why we do this in a minute but first things first you can minimize NetBeans and on your desktop we're going to create a new um, text document and we're just going to call this file and now that that's on our desktop we can open it up and we're just going to write anything we want like hello this is how you read a file and then we can file save that and then we can just close it and now that our file is on our desktop, we can set up uh, Java so it can read it. So back in NetBeans, we're going to create a new method that's going to read our file. And this is going to be public. Um, actually, we're not going to do a method. We're going to do it inside the main method. Um, so first things first, we need to make a scanner. Uh, if you remember, scanners we used to handle user input and that's because it scans the user input but it can scan a lot of other things as well such as files and that's how we're going to be using it today so we will make a new scanner object and we're going to call it scan and we'll say equal to a new scanner and as a parameter what do we want it to scan uh, we want it to scan a new file and the file is an object and as a parameter it takes a string and that is C that is the file you want it to scan so or yeah the file and then mine is at c users slash oliver slash desktop and we called our file file.txt and now that that's set up we can go to a new line and as you can see this is highlighted in red and it's because um there's an exception that we need to handle and that exception is um, if this file can't be found and I'm gonna just do that now if you um, uh, hit alt and enter you can click this first one add throw clause and that adds this to the main method and you don't really need to know what this means yet but basically in Java errors can occur um, which is which cannot necessarily be Java's fault. For example, a file. So j this Java syntax is perfectly valid, but what if this file in the string here doesn't exist? Then Java's not going to know what to do. So we ha are just we're throwing this exception here, and that means the compiler is going to recognize if the file can't be found, and then it's going to print out an error message on the screen. Um, hopefully that made sense. There's also another way to do it. Uh, which is cool, which is by putting it in a try and catch statement, but we can do that in a later tutorial. So now that we've created a scanner that's going to scan our file, we're going to create a um, something to print it out to the screen. We are simply going to say system dot out dot print line, and what do we want it to print? We want to say scan, which is our scanner object here, then dot next. Let's see, next, next line, there we go. And that is the next line, uh, the next line of text in our file. So we can now run this when we press run. Uh, as you can see, the output says, hello, this is how you read a file. And th let me tell you again why this is. Uh, first of all, we've created a scanner object, and our scanner object is going to scan the file that we want it to read. So as a parameter, we've said created a new file object and given a string, which is the location of the file we want to scan. And because there could be an error with this file, like the file doesn't exist or it can't be found, we need to throw an exception to the Java compiler. So if the file can't be found, the compiler uh, can deal with it and print out an error message to us. We've then simply done system out print line and we've accessed our scanner object which scans the file and said next line which is the next line which is the first line um, here but 
now I'm just going to teach you something else, and that is if there's more than one line. So what if we have a second line saying, and this is a second line, dot dot dot, and I'm just going to file save that, and if we come back into NetBeans again and run this, as you can see, it says, hello, this is how you read a file, and it hasn't printed out that second line, because all we have here at the moment is it's going to scan the next line and print that out. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to remove this so I can explain it better. And what we're going to say is we're going to make a while loop. So uh, while something is true, um, while our condition is true, it will do this block of code. And we want to say while our file still has a next line. So while scan dot has, this is a built-in method, has next has next line. There we go. So whilst off the scanner, um, so whilst uh, our scanner, which is scanning the file, so in other words, while our file has a next line, we're going to print out that line. So system out oh, print line, and then we've just done this uh, scan dot next line. So let me tell you what's going to happen. Basically, um, it's scanned our file, and then it's going to say, while the scanner has a next line, print out the next line. So it will first of all print out, this is hello, this is how you read a file. And then the while loop will say, okay, the scanner still has a next line, so print out that next line, which is, and this is a second line. So let's run this now. And as you can clearly see, we have, hello, this is how you read a file, and this is the second line. And hopefully uh, all of that made sense. Uh, please comment, leave a comment or on my profile, on the forums, anywhere you want to leave them if you have any questions. And uh, please head over to the forums, uh, make an account there, and you you can basically just hang out with other people and post questions, post uh, just random topics, whatever you want to do. Um, also follow me on Twitter, and I will be posting on Twitter various updates with the site. And last but not least, please subscribe, and I thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later.